Hello, my name is Stuart Meacham. Welcome to my YouTube video. On this episode, I'm going to show you using Final Cut Express, which is the same as Final Cut Pro, just a few missing features and plugins, how to do this. I'm screen number one. I'm screen number two. I'm screen number three. I'm screen number four. And pushing my way up, I'm screen number five. Okay, the first thing you want to do is obviously open up Final Cut Express, um, capture all your footage, as you can see I have in this case. Um, basically, the principle of this is we're going to lay five tracks, um, different video tracks just here, and obviously overlapping each one to give us the effect that you're obviously looking for. So the first thing we're going to do is obviously lay those tracks, which is a simple case of selecting your in and out points and then dropping them on the timeline. Okay, so you can see I've laid the five tracks with the in and out point starting where I need them to obviously start and finish. Um, if you're not sure entirely how to lay a track on top of each other, you just simply drag and drop the track just slightly over the track you've already laid and you, a new track will um, obviously load up and you can just let go and, and that will drop in there. So basically what I've done is you've moved, I've moved these into the points where obviously I want them to start. So as you can see, what we're gonna do is select the first bottom track uh, make sure our playhead is at the beginning and obviously as you can see in the example that that actually animated up into that corner um, to do that as I said make sure that's um, definitely selected at the beginning double click we're going to go up to motion on your viewer and basically you can see there's these points if I just highlight it for a second it's an insert delete keyframe basically um, it's a point and where something's going to change on the timeline because this is representing your timeline Okay, so the first thing I did is on the on the scale, that was the start point. So we just click it once, move it along, just uh, the playhead just to whatever point you feel that's um, you want it to scale down to. Obviously, the longer gap you're leaving, the longer it's going to take to scale down. Obviously, the shorter the gap, the shorter. Okay, so we know I knew it was 48% to crop it um, to scale it down. Obviously, you need to play with that. Then what we did is you've just moved the playhead back to the beginning on these dots um, what we've got now is on the center and we're pretty much doing it exactly the same you're going to click the start point go to the end point and basically on your sequence on your canvas we're basically going to move it as you can see the lines coming up which is basically our animation so if I just play that quickly you'll see what I mean line screen number Okay, as you can see, I've done that pretty roughly. Um, I would have thought you would probably spend a bit more time making sure that was a little bit smoother ride. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is go to the second track, double click it, make sure again the head's on start, the playhead's on the start of track number two. As you can see, it's um, obviously overlapping and not in the right place. Again, we don't need any start or stop points on the insert delete keyframe I mean you can do if you want use exactly the same principle but obviously move it in a different direction all I'm doing is just, it's just going to pop in so again I know it's 48% and again all I do is just move it and as you can see this time around there's no line because this does not animate at all that's just basically going to appear if I just show you what I mean line screen number one line screen. okay so basically you repeat that principle to the rest of the tracks. Okay, as you can see, I've laid the full tracks, um, put them in the relevant areas. As you can see, I've not, I've really done this quite roughly, just for this um, example. Okay, we're going to move on to the fifth track. As you've noticed in the example, it actually um, slid up from the bottom. Again, if we put our playhead to the beginning of that track and we double click it, until you can see it obviously in your canvas. As you can see there, it's obviously full screen, and that's pretty much what we, we don't want that. Okay, what I'm going to do is just move it down slightly until obviously make sure my head's not going to overlap when it obviously comes up from the bottom. And the same principle, um, but on this time we're going to use the crop, but obviously on the top only. So we're at the beginning of the track. We want to crop that all the way down so it's no longer visible on the screen, as you can see. And we're going to use that as our start point. And again, we move it along to a point where you want it to obviously slide up. And in that case, now what we do is we will drag the crop top up until obviously you're happy. 
And as you can see, what that's done on your timeline is that's going to animate your crop. To show you an example, let's just move it and push my way up like that. Screen number five. Okay, that's pretty much it. I mean, obviously you can play around with it as you see necessary or do different animation. I mean, I use this, um, I'm a track one, etc. Purely as an example, you may have different video clips that you may want to animate around. And the principle is exactly the same. Um, you just obviously move it in whatever direction and whatever scale you want.